Miss Canada. Philippines. Brazil. India. Ecuador. Czech Republic. Venezuela. This year as Miss Earth Ghost Digital on its 20th year, we rise to the challenge. And with just a tap of our fingers, we can unite the Earthlings all over the world. And Miss Earth Crown is up for the challenge. We are bringing you our 2020 Echo Angels in exclusive interviews. Plus a whole lot more. This is Miss Earth Ground's Miss Earth 2020 coverage. So join us, only here where we make it possible and where you see it first, Miss Earth Ground. Good day everyone and welcome back to the Miss Earth Crown page. This is your host, I'm Noy Sabelano. I am the Chief Correspondent of Miss Earth Crown and we are welcoming everyone tonight to our first episode for our week-long interviews for Miss Earth 2020. And we cannot wait to introduce our special Echo Angel guest for tonight. But before that, allow me to introduce my co-host, my good friend, Emmanuel Feliciano. Eman. <laughs> Hello, Noy, and hello, everyone. Good evening to all of you who are watching right now. My name is Emmanuel Feliciano, and I am the um, creative content head of Miss Earth Crown. And tonight, I will be your co-host and your live correspondent. So my job right now is to read all your shout-out requests, all your comments, and later on, your questions. So when we give you the cue to ask your questions, please ask away. That will come in later. But for now... I will turn you over back to Noy. There, thank you, Eman. And again, to everyone tuned in tonight, thank you very much for staying with us because now is the perfect time to introduce our very special guest for our first episode of interviews for Miss Earth Crown, special coverage of Miss Earth 2020. So we are going to talk to one of the Echo Angels of Europe Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome the beaming beauty of Kimberly Bosman. Kim. Hi. Hello, everyone. There. Hi, Kim. Hi. There. So first, we'd like to say thank you for um, taking your time. You look radiant and beaming today. So thank you. yes, yes, we are so excited to do this interview with you again. You are the very first guest for our week-long um, set of interviews for Miss oh. Earth Crown. So we are so happy you're the very first. First, we'd like to say, um, we'd like to ask, how are you doing right now? Uh, I'm doing fine, a little bit nervous, uh, but I'm looking forward to the life. Yes. <laughs> well, do not be nervous because you are so lovely tonight. We're loving the entire wow. look that you have right now so it's just going to be like a light fun of course mm -hmm. we're going to have a spot for you to talk about your advocacies and your work the work that you're doing as a miss earth belgium since you are the official miss earth belgium 2020 but before we start with our segments i will ask Eman about the action on the live comment section because right now we are streaming live both on Facebook Live and on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Emma, what is the action over there? That is right. We are steaming. Uh, well, it's already popping. And, you know, the first person to actually make a comment, a comment of a um, love, a heart emoji, a face with a love emoji. I don't know what that's called, but it's a really nice emoji. It's none other than Ken Stevens. Ken Stevens is watching right Hi, now. Ken. So, this Earth Belgium's national director is watching mm -hmm. right now. Hi, Ken. Thank you very much for your support and thank you for watching right now. And then, all the time, you know, I want to give this guy an award because he's always here whenever we have a live um, talk show. Zani, say hi to Kim. It's Zani and hello hi, team. Zani. 
Yes, there you go. Hi, Zani. Okay. And uh, we have also our editor-in-chief, Mark Ligachelian, is watching right now, saying, um, giving three hearts. And uh -huh. Bridge, Bridge, uh, Bridge or Bridge, Bridge Elizan says, Mabuhay, Kim. Mabuhay. Mabuhay. And wow, another active comment from Ken, Beauty. Oh, yes, can love you. <laughs> <laughs> of course she is. Yeah, right. Uh, Kim is such a beauty right now, and that is the action happening on our live feed right now. And we will go back to the live feed later. So please, if you have any qu uh, shout out requests or any comments, please put that in. Comment that in. Type that in. Okay, back to you, Noy. There. So again, to all of our fans, thank you for tuning in. And again, reserve your questions for our lovely guest for tonight later on because for now we're going to start a little bit of fun because we like to we like to keep it fun here on miss earth crown we're going to start off with our very first segment which is what we call two truths and a lie there okay so i think this is one of the most familiar games that we have for miss earth crown so what we are going to do is first we ask kimberly to prepare two sets of three statements, okay? So our job is, Kim is going to state the, or mention the statements. Our job, okay, both Eman and I, and the fans right now will have to guess which of the statements Kimberly is going to mention, which of those are the two truths, and which one is the lie, okay? Mm -hmm. So hopefully yeah. we are going to be challenged by Kim to guess the truths and the lie about her life and her personality. So, Kim, are you ready to do this? Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready? Wow. <laughs> Here yes, we go. we're already. Okay, let's start. So, the okay. first one. Uh, I am crowned as Miss Earth Belgium 2020 and Miss Exclusive 2020 on January 27th. The second one is, I'm afraid of spiders. And the third one is, I have no siblings. Ah. Mm. Let's see. Well, Eman, first, what about you? Maybe you can start off like guessing which one is the truth and which one is the lie. So the first one is you were crowned as Miss um, Earth Belgium and Miss Exclusive mm -hmm. in January. Then mm -hmm. you are afraid of spiders, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And you have no siblings. I think if I will base it on your background, I think you do have siblings. So I think you have siblings. Um, <laughs> number two is a lie. You that you're scared of spiders. I think number two is the lie. How okay. about you, Noy? You sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but... <laughs> okay. For me, I think the obvious first um, statement is a truth, okay? Because I see you as a really strong and brave woman. I don't think you are afraid of spiders. So I think the second yeah. statement is the lie. So mm, I think so that's the true answer. Yes. So what about okay, the fans? What about Zani the fans? Says, Zani says... Number three is truth. She has no siblings. Okay. Mm. Mm. Wait, you said you have no siblings, right? Yes. Yes, uh, I have no siblings. That's the third ah. one. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I think I changed my answer. To <laughs> no changing of answers. No, no more. Changing. Okay, okay. <laughs> I never my Danny says no, that no siblings. <laughs> it's a truth. Exactly. Okay. And then... Bridge says first and third are truth. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. So I think number two is the lie. No, I think number two is the lie. So okay, okay. I, I will everybody reveal the answers. That. Okay, what yes. is the answer? Okay, um, the first one is a lie. Uh, I'm actually crowned uh, on January twenty five. Um, oh. So actually, today it's uh, seven months ago. Um, I was crowned, oh. uh, and I am afraid of spiders. Um, every time uh, there is a spider at home, uh, I call my mom and say, "Mommy, mommy, uh, there's a spider in my room, and then she's coming to rescue me." Uh, and the third one is, I have no siblings. 
Oh, oh interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, I think um Eman, uh, we, we we will have to greet um Kim here a ha- happy 7 month anniversary yes. Yes. as the Miss Belgium. Yeah. So, yes. I think, I think it's, it's, it's the perfect yeah. live. It's a perfect interview that we're having right now because it's your 7th month anniversary as Miss yes, Earth Belgium. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, okay. You're on your way to the Miss Earth 2020 final pageant. So, good Correct. luck to you. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, so we're we're all wrong. <laughs> yes, I know. Wrong. But, okay. But so. that's only the first set. I think Kim has another set so we can like bounce back and do this thing okay. and then <laughs> Yes, is right. So yeah, your I second can't... Ken yes. says, tricky girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'll learn it from you, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> And Alexis says, that was a good one. Yes, we agree that's a good one. Yes. Okay, yes. now here, let's hear it for your second set. Okay. Um, I love to bake. Uh, example, um, lychee flan or cake. Um, I... Uh, my daily routine is um, I make every morning uh, milkshakes uh, or smoothie. And the last one is, um, which was the last one? Let's think quick. Okay, here it is. Um, my family uh, has a big garden. So um, every week, uh, early in the morning or Uh, in the evening, we go there uh, to take care of our plants. Is it true or is it false? Oh, okay. Maybe I can make the first guess. I think. Okay. I think. Um, actually, because the three statements could be true about you. So again, another tricky set here from Kimberly. <laughs> You're good at You're this. You're challenging yeah. us, ah. Huh? Yeah, this, this is, is a very good one. Wait. Um, I'm I'm going to make like a like a wild guess. I think. I think you are. You don't like to. You don't like to make lemon shakes, but I think milk you like shake. to bake. That was milkshake. A milkshake. Yeah, milkshake. <laughs> yes. Mm. I don't think you like milkshake, but I think you are. You like to bake, and I think you have a big garden. So I think number two is the lie. Okay. I'm actually. Emma, what about you? I'm actually cheating a little bit. I'm looking at the audience, uh, the fan. <laughs> no cheating. No, no cheating. Oh, sorry. Okay, I will not look at it. Okay, so I think um, I have a feeling you really like making leche flan because who does not? <laughs> And then number two, yeah, I think number two is the lie. Yeah. Like you, like your routine in the morning is making milkshakes. I think it's a lie. So mm-hmm. both Nona and I, number two is the the lie. Um, Zani says. Kim is always sitting on the same spot for her lives. I... Yes. <laughs> He mentioned it that. good. <laughs> wow. And that you love Leche Flan, I think. So I think, yeah. Second and third are truth, according to Bridge. And uh, yeah. So I think all of us agree that number two is the lie. Is that the answer, Kim? Yes. That's the answer. Yay. Yay. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> We got this correctly. There you go. <laughs> Another Ken is watching right now, and he he says she has no time to make milkshakes. <laughs> oh, Ken, okay. don't say that. <laughs> so no time because you're always busy with I think the preparations, right? That is- so, yes, um, yes. I'm very busy. Also, um, now we have our new candidates for uh, Miss Earth Belgium as yes, well. Yes, yes, we know that. Yes, yes, yes. That so I so think cool. you're also you're also like doing like some work for the 2021 edition, right? You're also doing yes. a lot of work. And we do it. also activities. Uh, I'm following up the candidates, how they are doing. Yes, yes. Okay. So Ken is correct. Um, we don't have time to make milkshakes. And since yes. Ken is so active on the comment, maybe we can guess Ken the next time. Ken, this is an open invitation for you. You can guess on our show the next time. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people will be happy if you guess on this. <laughs> I'm <Yes>. telling you. <laughs> There you go. Yes. Okay, so that concludes the first segment. Thank you, Kim, for challenging that us. Fun. Yeah, that, that was fun, actually. Amazing. 
and challenging actually that was one of the most challenging two truths and a lie segments we ever had so thank you for oh, doing really? that for us <laughs> yes yes we had that no difficult kidding. time yes yes so since you already started it's only a warm-up segment for our live interview tonight um before we move on to the next part which is another fun segment let me um turn it over to emman for the live comments and shout outs yes hey. One person is asking for a shout out. Kevin Daza Blanquera. Pa shout out po. So let's say hi to Kevin. Can you say hi to hi Kevin? Hi, Kevin. Welcome. Hi, Hello, Kevin. Kevin. Okay, there you go. And also, um, yes, um, Rosnis Chalvan Teagra. Go, go, Kimberly. Good luck. We are so proud of you. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Love yes, you. you okay, there you go, Noy. So let's move on to the next segment. Yes. Actually, before we move on to the next segment, I would also like to do a shout out. It's actually pinned here. Oh. Actually, your fellow um, um, Echo Angel from uh, Finland, the one that we had last Sunday, oh. Emilia Lepomaki is also watching right now. Maybe you can say hi to Emilia. Oh, Emilia. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So okay. sweet that you are coming to the live. Yes, yes. So again, we also like to thank our other Echo Angels for tuning in. Actually, all of the girls are supportive of each other. I don't know if you're going to agree, um, Kim, with, uh, with that statement. It's true. Uh, we all support each other. Um, we have also a WhatsApp group. Uh, we're chatting together and know each other better. So, um, big love for my Echo Angels. There, there. Oh, okay. There we that's, that's really nice. Great. So, thank you for all of the comments and to all of our fans. Now, we'll move on to the second segment, which is going to be handled by Emmanuel. This is the yes. second segment. Emmanuel. Our second segment, after the two truths and a lie, is called team, hashtag Team Belgium or Team Philippines. Yes. Um, and this is going to be a rapid fire round. It's going to be quick and fast, uh, but before that, we're going to explain why is it why is this portion called why is this segment called Team Belgium versus mm -hmm. Team Philippines? Because we have we are going to tell you a little bit about Kimberly. Yes, is it true, Kimberly, that you have Filipino blood? Yes, it is true. Uh, my mom, she is from the Philippines, uh, from Cebu. Oh, there you go. So. Um, were you born in Belgium or were, did you migrate there? Um, I was born here in Belgium. I see. There you go. So we have a very beautiful, diverse queen right here. So um, she has Filipino blood. That is why we are going to try to um, we're going to try to cover both her Belgian and her Filipino roots with this rapid fire segment. That's why we call it. That's why we call it Team Belgium or Team Philippines. So we're going to give her some categories, and she's going to choose which uh, hey. she like in this category. Is it Belgium or Philippines? Let's see. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. Okay. How with when it comes to food, which food do you prefer? Is it are you a team Team Belgium or Team Philippines when it comes to food or uh, both? With comes to food it's more team philippines oh. um one of my favorite is adobo chicken um everything about the philippines their food is super super delicious I uh, and also their desserts uh, love it <laughs> oh yes 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 you just mentioned that you were you, you like to making leche flan so definitely yes. leche flan is something that's very unique and you know available in the philippines so there you go so um, and when it comes to food, Kim is Team Philippines. Now, yes. let's go to the next one. How about when it comes to climate? Are you hashtag Team Belgium or Team Philippines? Also Team Philippines. Wow. Uh, in the Philippines, it's all, always nice weather. Um, it's sunny. It's it's warm. And here in Belgium, it's you have rain. And then the other day, it's sunny. It's cold. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's hashtag Team Philippines. For climate. There you go. So thank you for that. Well, I guess that's one reason for us to appreciate our climate more because some people are complaining it's so hot in the Philippines. But actually, a lot of times the weather is really good. So thank you very much for that. So what's next? How about music and entertainment? Depends wow, on how much. That's a yeah, tough one. Um, I think both. 
Uh, I like also uh, the entertainment in the Philippines, like uh, ASAP. Uh, it's always on Sunday. Uh, we oh. don't have like that here in Belgium, like a show with uh, all the actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like both. Also the music here in Belgium, uh, I love it. But the entertainment goes more to the Philippines and the music more to uh, Belgium. Belgium. Oh, that's a nice balance, right? It's a nice balance. Uh, Belgian music and Philippine entertainment. We are all fans of ASAP. I love ASAP. Thank you very much. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you very much. So for music and entertainment is both. Okay. How about people's attitudes? Which are which side are you on? Team Belgium or Team Philippines? Um again to you Philippines. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the the people there in the Philippines they are more open. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think yeah, they are more open and you're welcome. And here in the Philippines they are more close. So uh -huh. it's more Philippines for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I see. There you go. So like they're more conservative and more like yeah. But there's also an advantage to that, right? So like people try to mind their own business. There you go. So for people's <laughs> attitude, the warmness of the Filipino people takes the win. How about vacation spots? Okay, so also which, which like one would you <laughs> also <laughs> the oh my gosh? <laughs> <laughs> um why the Philippines uh, as a vacation spot? Uh, because also you can hear my birds. Oh, those are the birds. Okay. Oh. Yes, they are uh, shouting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> because they, I think the birds are saying no, Team Belgium or something. Yes, like that. I think so. But they are actually from Australia, so. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, so they're from Australia. They're confused right now. Okay, so the vacation spots go to the Philippines. Yes, uh, Philippines has a lot uh, of beautiful vacation spots to offer. Uh, and I want to visit also uh, Palawan. It's uh, one of the biggest and nicest uh, vacation spots that I want to visit. Soon. Right, right, right. Because Palawan has some of the best beaches, rated best beaches and islands in the world. So. Uh, really a good reason to visit them. And not only for you, but also for other people around the world, Palawan is really a nice place to go to. Thank you very much for that, Kim. How about Welcome. your physical attributes? Like, uh, where did you get your beauty from? Is it a balance or is it more Team Philippines or Team Belgium? I think it's a balance. It's uh, between the Philippines and between Belgium. Yes. Actually, we agree. You are a very... You're so beautiful. So, um, oh, you, so you much. cannot. Maraming salamat. You can, uh, it's really, really a great balance between your Belgian and your Filipino. How about your personality? Um, what would you say? What would you? How would you classify your personality more? Is it more like you know you have the Belgian personality or more of a Filipino personality? Um, I think more the Filipino personality. Um. Because I'm like a fun, a fun girl, a little bit crazy, happy, always happy. Uh, so that's typical of the uh, of the Filipinas, Filipinos. Uh, they're always happy and and a little bit crazy. So <laughs> there it is. We we are we are crazy and fun and mm. funny. It's more fun than the Philippines. <laughs> that's true. There you go. Well, that was the. Last one. Okay, that was the last one. Yes. Thank you so much for thank you so much for being sport and for being honest. You know, you know, like oh, though you are though we know that you love Belgium and you're representing Belgium for Miss Earth 2020, you are still in touch with your Filipino roots. Yes. And appreciate that a lot. So you're like in touch with your Filipino roots and then bringing the flag of Belgium with you. That is so nice, actually, the diversity that you have. So thank you so much. Thanks to my mom and dad. <laughs> oh, no, anything, any follow up on that? Yes, actually, I, I would like to ask um, Kim, um, since you have this biracial background, what do you think is, what do you think are the advantages? Like being, um, being a, having a Filipino blood or having the Filipino lineage, growing up in Belgium, how did it like develop your, your character and as a woman and as a person? 
Um, I think growing up here in Belgium uh, makes me more a better version of myself uh, and more uh, responsibility. Uh, also in the Philippines, uh, we have a family in the Philippines. Um, we also support them by um, supporting them by their school, buying their foods. Uh, so that's the thing my mom gave me uh, growing up here. Um, if you have family uh, that lives in another country, uh, you always have to help them. And thanks to my mom, uh, she learned me that. Uh, family is one of, I have a big heart for my family, uh, especially there in the Philippines. Uh, I miss them uh, a lot. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yes. Actually, I, I, I agree with what you said. And also, I also agree with Eman because I think your biracial background is going to be an edge for you when you compete at Miss Earth 2020 because you have a you have a broader understanding of like the different cultures coming from like the Philippines and Belgium. And I think you're going to be more more adaptable to other people, most especially to other cultures and the other girls yeah. in the competition, right? True. Yeah. That's yes, true. Yes. Okay. Now, since we talked about um, extensively your background, your, 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 your roots, your culture, and of course, your family a little bit, now is the time to talk about your, your bid for the Miss Earth 2020 crown. Okay? So, let's get down to business, Kimberly, because again, we are here to interview you um, particularly about why you are joining Miss Earth 2020 and what are the things you are doing as a representative at, or as the Echo Angel representing Miss Earth Belgium. Maybe we can talk about that a little bit. What exactly is your Echo Angel story? Um, well, it's been a dream for me to participate uh, in Miss Earth. Every year, uh, I'm looking to the finals and supporting for the Philippines. And I told my mom from one day, um, I want to stand also on that stage and representing my country. Uh, and as an echo angel, I want to sensibilize um, the people to um, reduce plastics. Uh, it's also my advocacy uh, to use more alternatives because plastic is still a big issue um, today. Oh, there. Okay. So again, we are showing here some of your photos because these are some of the photos. Yes, we. Um, these are some of the photos that we saw in your Echo Echo photos for Miss Earth yes. 2020. Now, let's specifically talk about your advocacy because I notice when I look at the photos, you have this strong, uh, you have this strong passion to dedicate your work as Miss Earth Belgium to, yes. um, fi to to really decrease the use of plastics. Maybe, maybe you can tell us a little bit about why choose this certain advocacy. Um, why? Because, like I said, it's still a big uh, issue. Um, you never know where the plastic ends up, uh, on beaches, on the sea, maybe our, in our food. And also plastic, it takes years, years and years to to compost. Um, so that's why we must uh, use our alternatives. Like example, if I go to the grocery store, uh, I use my reusable bag from Ms. Exclusive. Uh, and also the water bottle is reusable. Um, that's also uh, very good because most of the people, when they go traveling uh, or you have to go somewhere or if they have to go to work, they always buy uh, a plastic bottle. Um, so if we can reduce that, that's already a big effort. Um, exactly, yeah. And also in our in my daily routine, um, I always brush my teeth with uh, a bamboo toothbrush. Uh, it's also very eco-friendly. And also uh, because of the pandemic, we have to um, be protected uh, and wearing mask. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of the people wear disposable mask and throw that away uh, on the street or in the beaches. I noticed that already. Uh, when I go shopping in the grocery store, on the parking lot, I saw uh, a disposable mask. So that's why I want also to tell the people to wear a reusable mask that you can use plenty of times. And it's also, it fits by your outfit also. It's, it's a nice thing to have. <laughs> Yes, yes. Actually, that's something that I noticed in your um, echo photos. Um, you are you really support your advocacy by doing the simple things, the simple and little things. And I agree yes, that 
through the simple things because the simple things we don't realize that these simple things when we add them up like everyone in the world actually does the simple things it's going to add up to like a big effect right yes that yes okay that's, that's that's actually correct now since you talked about i think you mentioned something about the the plastic and the waste problem in the world and the pandemic um what is your take on the growing plastic and waste problem in the world specifically during the pandemic um do you agree that the problem that we have with plastics and wastes actually increased because of the pandemic yes i agree <laughs> Um, well, now, uh, during the pandemic, we have to use masks and also that's become a big issue uh, today uh, because it's also made from plastic, cartoon, uh, it's not, you cannot re recycle it uh, that easy. So we must uh, use a reusable mask because otherwise that will become also a very big problem uh, in our environment. Yeah, I totally agree with what you said. Um, it's a really big problem nowadays, especially during the pandemic, the use of the um, reusable face masks. We don't know where it's going to go after we use them. Exactly. Yes. Now, um, since we are talking about your advocacy, are you like going to do specific projects in the future? Since um, I think you still have a few months left before the actual competition, are you still going to like do like some projects to um, to actually support your advocacy against um to to lessen the use of plastics specifically in belgium uh yes uh i will use my social media um to sensibilize the people uh, and make a story or telling them uh, that we should use the alternatives and also our candidates uh, of miss earth belgium they have also a reusable bottle so they always bring it Every time we have an activity uh, and we show it also to the to the other people, um, that's also a good thing. And af maybe after Miss Earth, uh, I will still do my advocacy uh, and help the other people to reduce the plastics. Yeah, that's actually really great to hear that you're going. You still have the passion to do your work even after even yes. after your reign as Miss Earth Belgium 2020. Now, since you mentioned that, speaking of being Miss Earth Belgium 2020, let's talk about the big competition, the 20th anniversary of Miss Earth 2020. Again, this is actually a big event, and it's going to be one of the many things that the pageant fans are going to look forward to in the next few months. How is Team Belgium preparing for your candidacy to Miss Earth 2020? What are the things that you're doing right now? Um, well, as it goes uh, virtual, we're preparing for the videos, for the photo shoots, uh, also for my gown. Um, we're sorting a lot of things out, which uh, color we should pick uh, and which place we should go to uh, take our video. Uh, so that's a very big challenge for us. And I also think for everyone um, to do that because it's the first time uh, Miss yeah, Earth goes virtual. Yes, correct. Actually, I'd like to do a follow-up on that, Kimberly, because I think you were one of the girls, one of the few girls who were crowned earlier last year, right? I think yes. you were, oh no, earlier this year, in January, you were this crowned. Year, yeah. And I think you were prepared to compete in a live pageant, right? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so now that we are shifting gears into the virtual pageant, how how are you like preparing mentally and emotionally about okay, I was preparing for a live pageant but then now I'm go I have to change my mindset. So what are your uh, what are your thoughts right now about the virtual pageant? Um I think even uh it's virtual we have to keep pushing forward uh it doesn't have to stop because Miss Earth uh, has uh, a meaning. It's not only a pageant. Um, it's not, not only a normal pageant, but it's a pageant with a meaning. Uh, many of the Echo Angel have to spread awareness and influence the people. So we have to continue. Uh, for me, it's okay to be virtual. It's also an, a nice experience to do. Uh, it's, uh, it's something new. So I'm also looking forward to it. There. And we cannot wait for what's going to happen. Actually, one of the things that I am looking forward to are the videos you're going to, mm -hmm. to create, you're going to produce. Because we, we want to see the 
beautiful sights and scenes you're going to use for the video. That's actually yes. one thing that we have to look forward to. Actually, before we end this discussion about your advocacy, Ken Stevens mentioned we still have big cleanups coming up there. Yes. So, um, so yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so actually, uh, next month, um, we are doing a beach cleanup. Uh, together with the other candidates, uh, clean because uh, the beaches here in Belgium, um, like they are very dirty. Uh, people, when they go to the beach, they throw their uh, like plastics or food uh, on the beach, uh, and that's not a good thing. So that's why um, we participate uh, in this year's beach cleanup together with the other finalists. Yeah. So aside from your advocacy to reduce plastic use in Belgium, you're also involved with the beach cleanups. Yes. A lot of activities in store for you, so we cannot wait to see what's going to unfold in the coming months. And we cannot wait for your candidacy to Miss Earth 2020. Oh, so, so there are things that we have to look forward to there. So now before we move on to the next part, now is the time for us to actually look at the fan questions. So I think there are a lot of fan questions already yes, or yes, fan yes. comments. Yes. Ooh. Comments and questions in shout out request. And wow. one, one very notable comment right now is from your fellow um, Miss Earth 2020 sister. She's none other than Roxy Bayens, our Miss Philippines. Hi, sister. Roxy. Wow. Thank, Thank you for coming. She says, Such a beauty in and out. We agree. Oh, she's That's, so sweet. She is very sweet. And Roxy, we also can't wait to see you soon. So see you soon, Roxy. Okay, see there. You soon. I will support yes. you. Ken is so active right now. We love it, Ken. Thank you so much. He says yes. Okay. And um, Bridge actually is telling us that Belgium is one of the active national pageants for Miss Earth in the European regions. I agree. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of actions in Miss Earth Belgium all the time. Thank you so much to the organization. Thank you so much to the leadership of Ken and the others. And actually, I was going to say, when we showed the photo of um, Kim in her different advocacies, she has a lot of um, Miss Exclusives merchandise. The yes. <laughs> water bottle, the echo bag, the mask. So they're also supporting the cause by churning out their own a merchandise for it. So that's yeah. really, really, really nice. Thank you so much. Thanks okay. To Ken. <laughs> yes, thank you, Ken. Lola Pakuai is uh, waving the flag. So of Belgium. There you oh, go. Sweet. Thank you. And then let's try to Gail Vlaminik. I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name <laughs> wrong. Go, 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 Kimberly. What a miss. That's right, right? Such a thank like a you. very great miss. Thank you. And she also says you are beautiful. There's one shout out here, but it's actually for Noi. <laughs> Noi, Benjiro Kuho is uh, shouting out your name. No. Oh, hi, Bean. Hi, Bean. You You're go. watching again. Hi, Bean. It's a good friend of mine, yeah. Oh. Darwin Arcavante says, go Kimi, Kimi me, Miss Earth. Yes, uh, it's my uncle. Oh, oh, uncle Tito Darwin. Hello, po. <laughs> so Kimi, Kimi Mi is your coming. nickname. Kimi Mi is your nickname to your uncles and aunties in the Philippines. Yes, uh, my family in the Philippines always call me Kimi Mi. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a funny nickname, yeah. That's a cute, cute, cute nickname. There you go. And um, I, I'm, 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 I hope we're not missing um, anybody. Kara Koenig says, Kimberly Bossman, you are the best. Thank you, Kara. Yeah. She's also one of the Miss Earth Belgium candidates for 2021. For 2021. Hi, Kara. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching your um, queen right now. Okay, so a lot of people are for Team Kimi, and then some people are Team Noi, but there is one person here who is <laughs> hashtag Team Ken, and that is <laughs> Tristan. He is the CEO and the owner of Miss Earth Crown, actually. So he says, hashtag Team Ken. Ken, if you're watching, then we have one who's rooting for you. Glenn is here. Uh, Thank you. So sweet. And so cute. So cute, right? And our fellow pageant um, blogger 
is watching us right now. Mars. Ivan, Mars, France. Hello. And he says, go Belgium. Yes. Hi. yes. <laughs> and um, so I'm, I'm doing this backwards, actually. Yes. Um, Josie, a uh, bossman T. Josie says, yes, Team Belgium, go my go aunt. Go. My oh, auntie. Your auntie. There you go. There you go. So there, yeah, yeah. So that's a lot, a lot of questions, a lot of comments. Now let's go to some of the questions, okay? So okay. I, I think you kind of answered a little bit of this um, a while back, but if there's anything else that you want to tell us, Echo J is asking, how will your preparation be for a virtual pageant compared to a real pageant? Maybe you see um, some sounds and the videos and everything, but maybe mm -hmm. like emotionally or mentally, is there a difference in the preparation? I think uh, for me, I think it's the same, um, even though it's a virtual page, pageant or a real pageant, uh, you have to prepare very well. Also uh, for your interviews, uh, for your catwalk, for your posts. So for me, everything uh, is the same. Mm, there you go. That's right. Yeah, you know, it's the same amount. If you treat it the same way you treat a live pageant, I'm sure you will, you're will. you going the right path. Because some people, if, if some candidates are like, oh, it's a virtual pageant, maybe we don't need to, you know, if that's the wrong kind of mindset. So that you have, yes. you have, you, a have you just have to go. Right. Go, with the flow. go, 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 go with the flow. And speaking of flow, ladies and gentlemen, we are now um, having our Q&A um, session. So it's now time for you to ask your questions, okay? So please ask your questions in the comments section right now. We have another, yes, yes, yes we have another question. Somebody's curious, Bridge. I don't know if um, we can actually say this, but Bridge asks, does Miss Earth or give guidelines to national directors or to the pageants for the coming virtual pageant? Do you, did you receive anything from the Miss Earth organization like, like guidelines, like what to do, stuff yes. to do. Um, so the um, all the information goes to my national director Ken, uh, and then we discuss everything. Um, he always he is always there for me, uh, Ken, and he supports me and gives me all the information that I have to know about um, the virtual competition. Oh, that's great! Yes, thank you. Of course, yes. Um, well, it's. I think it's expected. We expect, of course, that the Miss Earth organization will definitely give guidelines to our national directors and to our candidates. Okay, but um, also, Bridges wants to know what was your, like, honestly, like, real talk. What was your first feeling yes. when you found out that Miss Earth is going virtual this year, especially because you won early and you were preparing to go on stage for a live pageant what was your initial like your instant reaction uh, my first reaction was oh, uh, was oh um that's so sad that's going to be virtual um because we have already planned with the family um that they're coming over to manila to stay there for a few days uh, also my parents like everyone here in belgium my aunt and uncle they they were also preparing to come there and to support me that's most of the thing I was looking forward so I can see back my family from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's going virtual. But for me, it's okay. Um, I have also um, good contact with them. We um, text every day almost uh, and call. So it's okay for me. <laughs> oh, that's that's really nice. Yeah, especially because you have um, family in the Philippines too. That was... Uh... A little sad in the beginning, but you have a very positive attitude. So thank you very much for that. Thank you very, very much for that You're question. Welcome. That was a nice question. Now, one familiar person, Mark Ligachelian, our editor-in-chief from Miss Earth Crown, is asking, how do you connect and bond with your Miss Earth Echo sisters now that we are doing it virtually? Well, um, like I said before, we have a WhatsApp group. Um, so we are chatting in there, um, like, how are you? What are you doing? How are your preparations? So we have a little of bonding with each other. Uh, and we're also helping each other um, for the questions. So I'm grateful um, that we have uh, the, the group. Mm -hmm. yes, that's right. Yeah, we, we, 
we have heard a lot of um, beautiful stories about the virtual bonding of the Miss Earth <clears throat> sisters this year. So we're so happy to hear that because um, I think Miss Earth is known for a great bonding experience for its candidates. So now that we're, it's so nice to know that even if we are doing it virtually this year, you still have great bonding. So that's really nice. I think there's, um, this is not a question, but there is a show of support. I think this is um, your cousin, KJ Kuhn. Yes. yes I support us family watching you. Go Kimberly Bossman. Okay. Oh, so sweet. Thank you. I know Very that your family nice. is watching right now. There you go. So those are some of the questions from our live feed. Anything on your end, Noy? Well, actually, I, I just would like to ask, Specifically, um, since you mentioned about um, your kind of disappointment for not being able to compete in the Philippines, was your family back in Cebu preparing like a big welcome, like a like a big gathering or get together? If ever the pageant were to be held in the Philippines for this year, was there any yes. plan? Yes, um, actually, oh. we planned it to do my homecoming in the Philippines. Um, together with the organization of Mr. Belgium, um, but sadly, due to the corona, it's canceled. So, oh, yes, yes, that would have been really nice, no? Correct. Like yes, yeah. I was looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. But it's, I think Kim, um, I, I think Kim, even if the the, the get together or the homecoming uh, is not uh, is not going to push through, I think your family in the Philippines, since. We are all internet crazy in the Philippines. We are going, they're going to support you, even mm -hmm. if it's virtual. Just expect, no. especially the Filipinos from Cebu, to support you all the way. So congratulations um, in advance for that. Thank you. I have the best family in the Philippines. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I think um, we, we are going to leave the, we're going to leave the comment section for now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And thank you to all of the fans, all of the supporters, and all of the family members of um, on on the side of Kim for like staying tuned and um, commenting on your on our uh, live feed. Your support for our special guest for tonight. Speaking of support, actually, we're going to end the live stream in a bit. But before we do that, Kim, we will not. We're not going to leave you with just doing the final word we're going to do that before that we have here a special surprise for you wow okay thank you so a special surprise we have actually some special messages special messages from <laughs> people who are close to you and people who support you so let's watch this video clip of video messages from your supporters okay. yeah. Kimberly Chen, my baby queen, I wish you all the best of luck for the upcoming Miss Earth pageant. I know you will do amazing. You already make me super proud. And mwah, big kiss, mahal kita. I wish you the same good luck at your participation on Miss Earth. Support me from the home front. And I hope you have great time in beautiful Philippines. This is on behalf of the Vadi's family, your niece, meet you. Friends, your uncle, your aunties, your grandparents, and most especially gathered family from Davao. Since the beginning of this battle, we're here to support you. We know who you are and what you are since you're a little kid. You're intelligent, pretty, kind hearted, the value that you had. And to show the best, you have strong determination to fight this competition for Miss Air 2020. We are proud of you. Good luck. God bless you. In this journey. Hello, friends. Papa and I were very proud of you for winning Miss Exclusive 2020. It was always your dream to win the crown. I remember when you were young, you and Opa would always make a crown out of table napkins. <laughs> As you can see, your dream comes true. We wish you good luck for Miss Earth 2020. God bless you all, always, and love you more. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm proud. I'm proud of you. Miss Earth and Belgium 2020. And good luck 
and God bless you always. I love you, Kim. Hi, Kimimi. Good luck your coming competition this year. Miss Air 2020. I hope so. New win. Be strong. Be happy. Good luck and go, go, go. Hi, Tanti. We are so proud of you for winning the Miss Exclusive. We are always here to support the Miss Army. Good luck for your Miss Air 2020. God bless you and keep safe. Thank you. Good luck for your coming project and God bless you. First five points. Hi, Kim. Congratulations for winning the title Miss Exclusive 2020 in the Zoom. And good luck for your coming really positive Miss Earth 2020. Okay. From your supporters in Bajan, Cebu, Philippines. <laughs> Hi, Hi, We are here to congratulate you for winning Miss Exclusive 2020 and Miss Art Belgium. I know how important this is for you. No matter what, what we are here to always to support you. We are so proud of you. Good luck for this competition, Miss Earth 2020. Be safe and God bless you always. Love you. Go, 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 Cambry! Go, 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 Cambry! <laughs> Good luck with the Miss Earth. I think you know Miss Earth is really inside my heart and I know you're going to be amazing. So, Rocket, keep your head up and shine like never before. But I know you'll do it. Wow! Oh, so again, um, as as you as as you saw a while ago, Kim, there is tremendous support from Belgium, from your organization, and from your family back in the Philippines. What can you say to them? I'm speechless. Oh. Uh, I want to say thank you so much uh, for supporting me. Uh, it means a lot of, for me. Um, yeah, I'm so speechless to see all the support. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes. Uh, we, we, we understand. We understand that. And um, we just saw your reaction while watching the video. I, I know when you mentioned that you miss your family in the Philippines, and then, of course, you are really disappointed. It's not going to happen. The homecoming just seeing what they have um sent you as a message i think that is enough for you to push through and push forward during the competition so we hope that that is going to encourage you even more uh even more when you compete at mr 2020 kim yes it is <laughs> yes there yes. there and actually we would like to say thank you to all of those who sent their video messages all of the supporters thank all of you. the family and a special shout out actually to your national director um ken stevens actually yes. he was the one who really yes. compiled all of the, the oh, wow. things for for you and for us to show tonight ken we are really happy with the support you are giving your queen tonight Maraming maraming salamat from the Philippines. So what what do you want to say specifically to Ken? Um, I want to tell him, Ken, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity, for believing in me, uh, for making me laugh all the time. Um, you become for me family and I love you so, so much. I can't imagine a life without you anymore. So wow. thank you so much. Wow, wow, wow. It's That's a really hard Correct, correct. And a heartfelt message. And Emma, I think we have your one more message, right? Yes. Speaking of family, also from your Miss Earth family, so your your sister in Miss Earth 2020, Tessa Likonji from. Uh, yes, Tessa Likonji is um saying hi, my sister Queen. So happy to hi, share Tessa. together. This is what the pageant is about. This is what pageants is about, and. Thank you very much, Tessa. And yes. Ken is not yet done. Yes, he says, love you, darling. We will do your homecoming after the COVID. Oh my wow. God. Wow. So, so that is something that we so have. Sweet. So first, 
first year on Miss Earth Crown, Ken actually revealed there's a homecoming plan. <laughs> still, so yeah, they that? still want to have it pushed through. What can you say? Yes. Um, can you tell the the question? Yeah, I mean, what what can you say about um, Ken's plan of like doing the homecoming in the future? Um, it's a it's a big surprise uh, for me, uh, and I'm so thankful. Uh, to him to do that, uh, especially for me, um, it means a lot for me. So, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, thank you again to Ken. And again, as we saw tonight, um, Kimberly, um, again, even if the pageant is going virtual, the support is overflowing from all parts of the world. And I think it's going to be exciting times to start the competitions officially in September. Now, we are about to end the live stream. It has been a great interview. We had a lot of fun, a lot of great emotions, a lot of great feelings right now. We are going to give an opportunity to say your thank you message to everyone. What What do you want to say to everyone? Um, first of all, to uh, my uh, to my parents, um, thank you for always being there. To my mom, um, she's standing, she has my back. Um, every time I go to an activity, she helped me with to do uh, my makeup, my clothes. So thank you for that. Um, to my family in the Philippines, uh, it was a pleasure to see all your um, greetings and support. Um, hopefully see you very soon. Uh, I want to make you all proud. So. I will do my best to bring the crown home uh, to Ken. I will give 100% myself uh, and show what Belgium has to offer in this competition. And to you guys, to the Miss Earth Crown, um, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure and it's also an honor to be here with you. Wow. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Maybe before I before I give my closing spiel, maybe Emma, do you have anything to say to Kimberly after we have this one hour of interview with her? Yes, thank you so much, Kim, for being here. Um, it, this is a good opportunity for us to get to know the candidates, but um, today was very special because we got to know you not only at, with your advocacy, not only with your preparations, but also your heart. So thank you very much for um, showing us your heart today. And we appreciate You're welcome. You. Thank you for inviting me. Yes. And again, maybe a final word in beha um, on behalf of Miss Earth Crown. It's also our, our honor and privilege to have interviewed you tonight. Um, you are one woman who is not only an advocate for the earth, but also has a sincere and big heart for her family and supporters mm -hmm. and her organization so we true. cannot wait for your journey to begin on september 25 one last maybe you can invite all of the fans to the virtual competitions of miss earth 2020 kim take it away yes so please um you're all welcome to watch the competition uh, in november um and support uh, for your favorite candidates uh, hopefully, uh, I will get support from you. Um, it will be a pleasure. Uh, I love you so much for all the, the greetings, the message. Um, love you, love you so much. Mahal kita. There. Mahal ka rin namin, Kimberly Boss. Yes. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, let's all give a virtual applause to our Miss Earth Belgium 2020, Kimberly Bosman. Maraming maraming salamat. Maraming Thank salamat. you very much. Thank you very much for being here as our special guest for our very first interview for this week because Emmanuel is going to show something, our next surprises for the week. What is in store for us, Eman? There you go. Thank you very much, Nonoy. So after um, Kim's interview today, we still have upcoming interviews this week. So do not forget to tune in because tomorrow, August 26, we will be interviewing Miss Earth Singapore, and on August 27, we are going to interview Miss Earth Pakistan. So do not forget to tune in to the other pageant sisters of Kim who are coming up this week. And of course, this weekend, we have a very, very special interview coming up, but we will tell you more about that soon. And of course, do not forget to follow Miss Earth Crown on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and on Twitter. Thank you. 
there. Thank you, Emman. And again, on behalf of the Miss Earth Crown team, Kimberly, thank you very much for being here with us. And to You're all welcome. of the fans, thank you. And to all of the fans who tuned in, this is only the first, only the first of our many interviews. We still have a lot in store, not only this week, but also in the coming weeks, since we promise to give you the most comprehensive Miss Earth 2020 coverage any page can offer. We are going to deliver that for you in the coming weeks. So once again, on behalf of Emmanuel Feliciano and the lovely beaming beauty of Kimberly Bosman, this has been your host, Noy Sabilano for Miss Earth Crown, saying stay safe and have a great day, everyone. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.